A few stories making headlines this morning. Actor Danny Masterson, who starred in that 70s show, could now be in prison until he is in his 70s or even older. Thursday, a Los Angeles judge sentenced the actor to 30 years to life for convictions on two counts of rape. Masterson has pleaded not guilty to the rapes. His legal team says they will appeal his convictions. And heads up to all you iPhone users, Apple is urging you to update your phones right away. The company is issuing an emergency software fix to a problem that hackers may already know about. The security flaw affects iOS 16.6.1. Experts say iPhone and iPad owners should immediately go to the settings menu on their devices and install that update. Um, sad story here, a school in Massachusetts mourning the sudden death of one of its students. Police say the 14 year old died on the same day that he participated in the viral social media trend known as the one chip challenge. It involves eating what is claimed to be one of the spiciest tortilla chips in the world. And while officials say it's too early to know if the chip contributed to Harris Willoughby's death, doctors say when people ingest capsaicin, it's an ingredient found naturally in the peppers used in the chip, the side effects can be dangerous. Sometimes we see people that will have a lot of chest pain or they'll experience things like palpitations as well. So a whole variety of issues that we're seeing with this um, one chip challenge. Meantime, Packy, the maker of the one chip challenge, is pulling their product from the shelves. Packy said in a statement, the chips are not intended for anyone with sensitivity, sensitivity to spicy foods, food allergies, or those with underlying health conditions. It's 644. A drug that can reverse opioid overdoses is now available without a prescription. Narcan is a nasal spray version of naloxone, and it is for sale online or in store locations at Walgreens, Rite Aid, Walmart, and CV. Yes, almost every state already allows pharmacists to provide the medication without a prescription, but now due to FDA approval in March, it can go on shelves and online.